Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to speak very plainly and very straightforward with you. There's absolutely no reason you shouldn't get yourself the Zealot robes. For no other reason than by chance, I decided to take up the grind and get the outfit myself. You know, I remember thinking, ah, this is gonna cost money, I don't know how long I'm gonna be there, you know, how the hell do I even start grinding this thing? As it turns out, you actually make money, it's not a long grind, and it's very simple. I'm gonna break it down for you guys, and I promise that 99% of you will be convinced by the end. All I wanna ask is that if, and only if, you find the video helpful, a like on it goes a really long way to help. And subscribing to the channel gives me that special feeling that I haven't felt in a very long time. So I'm gonna divide this video into roughly three sections. Profitability, the robe set bonus, and the grind. But of course, before we talk about any of that, I think it's important we talk about some requirements and recommendations. You need 95 fire making. I know, I know. It's a little ridiculous they lock something that helps prayer training behind fire making. This is by far the hardest requirement but honestly, training fire making is extremely fast and cheap, and it's usually within the first few 99s a new account might get as they play the game. Beyond that, you'll need a tinderbox, Mortania legs 3 or 4, a coffin with some gold locks, some teleport runes, redwood pyre logs, and urium shade remains. To actually get the coffin, you want to talk to a man named Dompe. He'll give you a broken one for free, and then you can buy golden locks off the grand exchange and attach them to the coffin. This will basically make it an additional full inventory for the shade remains you'll be using. So you can actually work around a few of these other requirements if you really wanted to, but I'm not going to recommend it as it drastically slows down your grind and it reduces profitability quite a bit. Like you don't need the Mortania legs, you can use a different teleport to get there, but you know, I digress. I guess by now a few people might be wondering what these ropes actually do. When you have the full set equipped, you have a 5% chance to not consume an insult head or bones when you use them. And this does stack with the Chaos Will the Altar. Personally, I didn't even realize the ropes worked on insult heads, I thought they were just for bones, but looking it up for the video expanded my knowledge. Let's take a look at an example though. If you're going from 70 to 99 prayer with dragon bones at a POH altar, you're going to use roughly 48,800 of them. If you had zealot robes, on average, you would use 2,440 less of them which comes right around to 4.2 mil save. I personally used these ropes while I was at the Wilderness Altar, and I saw it increase my XP an hour by 20k compared to without them. I mean, if you don't consume the bone, you can continue using the bone on the altar, which can slightly increase your XP rate. So these ropes contribute to your prayer grind by making it more cost effective while slightly raising the XP an hour too. The grind to actually get the robes isn't that bad at all either. This is the section I actually tell you how to go about getting your zealot robes. From my experience personally, I ended up opening 661 chests before I got all of the robe pieces, which is over the average. Now I didn't precisely track my time spent doing it, because I didn't know I was going to make a video on it, but I can confidently say it only took me between 4 and 6 hours, which is really nothing compared to some of the other grinds in RuneScape. So to actually get this grind going, I would load up my inventory with some pyre logs and some urium shades. Don't forget your coffin either. I would teleport to Bergdorot and make my way over to one of the sites to cremate shade remains. Cremating is as simple as using the logs, using the shade remains, and then lighting them on fire. You'll then receive either a key or some GP. The more keys you get, the luckier you are. After I use up all my pyre logs, I'll head towards the shade catacombs with my gold keys and enter the southeast crypt. Inside the crypt, you can open up the chest and see what loot you come across. There's also a small chance for a zombie to pop out and attack you when you open a chest, but you know, they're pretty weak and they can be ignored if you want to. You can then teleport to a bank after you use all of your keys and load up for another run. I didn't realize this at the time, but apparently you get decent fire making and prayer XP from burning the shade remains. These numbers are from the wiki for an hour of burning remains, so they're probably a little bit generous, but it can be a pretty nice way to finish off fire making and jumpstart that prayer grind. And don't forget that this entire process also makes you money. When I did this grind, I made just about 2 mil in total. Which is wild, because I thought for sure I would lose money. To burn just one shade remain, it costs 7.2k at the current market price. As it turns out though, my average chest value is right around 12k. Which means, on average, you make 5k per chest open. I mean, that's awesome. You make money, 
while earning good XP in a short amount of time for an armor set that further saves you money and increases your XP rate. I mean, boys, boys, how can I make that sound any more appetizing? You can't, it can't be done. This method will most likely stay profitable for a long time because the shade remains and the pyrologs might increase in price or decrease, but the chests themselves are actually going to stay right around where they're at because they're tied to the elk price for the items you get. And actually it's completely possible to make money by killing the shades and then selling their remains. And you know, I have a whole video on that if you were curious. <laughs> However, that is going to be my presentation on zealot robes. If you have any questions about it, or runescape in general, feel free to ask me. Next week, I'll probably have a Should You Buy It episode out. Stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You all better have a wonderful fucking day. I'm watching. I'm keeping an eye on all my babies. I'm, I'm not going to let any harm come to you guys if I can help it. Ah, that reminds me of the one time back in Vietnam. My platoon was ambushed and we were surrounded.